Good morning. Hello, Janice. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Janet. Hello, Sheena. Hello, Anne. Hello, Judy. Hello, Jean. Oh, sorry, you're still under the weather, but you're here. That's lovely. And you're right. What better way to spend your Saturday morning than is that it? staring at a screen? Is what it? The two colours? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that it? I thought you meant... I thought it's yes. a blank piece of paper and not painted yet. <laughs> Just that's it. Paint grey and lemon yellow. I want to not... Morning, Rosemary. Morning, Patricia. Morning, Pat. Morning, Kate. Who am I missing? Morning, Wendy from Sheffield. Morning, Monique. Oh, how lovely to have you all here. I do. I feel very special and honoured to have your company today. And I've got Sue in real life as well. Yeah, he's not honoured to have me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be just layers of fir trees in the mist. So I thought, keep it simple, keep it interesting. Mist is difficult anyway. Um, and it's all about how to get scale as well as mist and depth. And we all like fir trees. So I thought we'd do that today. I'm going to make sure I've got... I'll, I'll watch it separately because I don't always see um, <laughs> Rosemary says to keep me under control so. oh dear. morning Louise <laughs> from Nottingham morning Diane morning Ruth I haven't finished my morning Eva yet, Rosemary, <laughs> maybe after that can anybody control me really like a loose, loose cannon. cannon that's it I actually want to go off on one <laughs> so I have my 300 GSM watercolour paper not surface um, or cold pressed I have two colours I have lemon yellow and Payne's grey I know Payne's grey can be good morning Sue from High Wycombe Hi, Le hello Les morning Leslie oh good old you 45 of you blimey I'm like a celebrity Yes. Oh, I well, know. I've been in the what is I've, I've been in the Guardian, the Telegraph, the Daily Mail. I made the Guardian Weekender magazine. I've been on telly, Sky News. You won't want us, um, us anymore. I'll remember you, you all. <laughs> Do you know what? None of it gives me any money. So it don't matter. Morning, Elizabeth. Hello, Anne. Cold and wet, windy nuts corner, Northern Ireland. Oh, how lovely. Morning, Mary. Morning, Diane. Morning, Sheena. You are a celebrity. Sheena, you can you can come back. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the stars. How sweet. Thank you. Hi, Wickham Sue. Morning. I'm I'm imagining the weather in High Wickham is going to be similar to the weather here, isn't it? I feel privileged that you know all these people in High Wickham in Northern Ireland can actually get to come. Yes, Sue's actually here. She can see me. Honestly, like a. Screaming fan with the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> right, I ought to do something. Now, I'm not going to draw anything, actually. Can't be bothered. Saturday. Oh, I've just had a reminder to come up to be ready to start a live demonstration at 11 o'clock for the artist. A bit late. Should have reminded me before that. Alice, good morning from Scotland. Oh, where about in Scotland are you? Blank paper bit like the start of a month isn't it and it's up to us what we make it Absolutely. so I'm going to be more Payne's grey at the back a bit mistier and more greeny at the front kind of I've got an idea no no I'll put it on the screen if I knew what exactly what I was doing <laughs> of course I know what I'm doing you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Frosty first thing. Yes, Sue. I had to scrape. I was just saying to, in the room, Sue, in the, <laughs> that I had to scrape the car this morning because it's very cold and frosty. Morning, Roger. Oh, so Ellen, you're High Wycombe as well. Oh, you're on the west coast by the River Clyde. Never eat shredded wheat. Okay, I know. <laughs> I know which side you are. Glasgow side, isn't it? Yes. Well, actually, it's west coast. Apparently, there's a town called White House, is there? which is possibly where I originate from with my family, a, a way, way, like, way back, pre-Anglo-Saxon times, pre-Anglo-Saxon times. I think you need to go up and 
up and, and demand to have the freedom of the and freedom of the town. Of the town. <laughs> I could pass in a kilt, I reckon, yeah, as a yeah, Scot. I think you could. I won't do my Sean Connery pose though. Because I just think I was a bit odd. Right. Should I try it just with my squirrel? Now, I have only got a couple of my uh, brush sets in stock because, oh, we had a delivery of brushes yesterday. Morning, Pat. But they sent us, these are size two. They sent us size six, which are not only huge, they're also £45 per brush. Big paint, bigger versions, bigger versions, but I can't sell them for 45 quid. Um, so uh, we had to email them and go, um, we ordered, we ordered six size twos and you've sent us 12 size sixes. Um, but never mind, it's one of those things. So I'm just going to wet my squirrel. That's a lot of squirrel air on there. That is. I don't know what a group of squirrels is called. Uh, a nut of squirrels, no. Conqueror of squirrels. A conqueror. <laughs> right, so I've just I'm just using some Cotman Cotman tube today. I say just as if it's like inferior. It's not. Cotman's really good quality. It's extremely light fast for the price as well. Um, so I'm using Cotman. I'd be very careful about the language we use, don't we? Really, because I don't like to make it sound like it's inferior or whatever. So I'm just diluting. So you can see I'm dragging it out. And then I can dilute more so it gets paler. Mm. Don't forget though, watercolour's dry, 30% lighter. Really? I know, I've never told That's anybody that before. <laughs> I thought I ought to share that information. Um, I'm just going to smudge a bit of grey on here. And let it fade, fade away. I could have pre-done this, but then then you wouldn't have known necessarily because by the time it dries, that, that bit there, that's reflecting off my lamp. A scurry or a dray of squirrels? It's a scurry. Yes, I do. This is just um, left over from a job lot when the tattoo studio upstairs was getting done. Um ceramic is way way better for watercolors than plastic and it infuriates me as an art shop that nearly all watercolor palettes are now plastic they they separate when you mix them um there is a there is a fix around that by the way and that is if you use um an acrylic varnish spray spray your plastic palette okay. and it turns it more ceramic oh, okay. um but it's still not as ideal little, as oh, ceramic. Like in, the, in the little tins of paint. Yeah. Know, that's plastic. It that is. Well, it? that's what's nice about our tins, because they're enamel. Yeah. So they enamel and ceramic yeah. pull the colour together, whereas plastic yeah. pulls it apart. Um, so I, I still don't think... Um, is the tile you're using just an ordinary tile or a special painting one? Um well, Sue can probably vouch. In front of my desk, there's a stack, there's a box of tiles that are just from Wix or somewhere. So no, it's not. It, it's just ceramic. You cannot beat just a, a, a plate from the kitchen. Make it. I think ceramic is better than plastic every time. Yeah, I don't even bother gluing felt to the back. I'm not that posh, Elizabeth. Um, it doesn't have to be white, but since my paper is white, I like a white palette because then I know what colour I mix here works on here. Um, I know there are some artists in the world of acrylics and oils that use a mid-grey palette because it's supposed to help you see your colours better. But as I'm on white paper, a white tile seems to work well for me. It's, it's drying quite quickly. about a pound probably i mean some of the really nice we do sell some lovely ceramic palettes that have um, got big deep wells in they're about 11 pounds um i would say an enamel plate perfect mm. hello dan um an enamel plate is absolutely perfect for um watercolors i wouldn't use them for acrylics um however with any acrylic palette if you're using a tile 
what I do is... Oh, there's 65 of you. When did you all creep in? Welcome. Good morning. Hello. Um, if I use an acrylic on a tile, I put it in boiling water and the boiling water just lifts the acrylic off and then I just scoop it up and pop it in the bin. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put plastic down the sink if you can help it. No, no Bring the pie to a lesson and we can help clean it up. And then, <laughs> and then, and a pie plate, yeah. Eat the pie and then paint on the tin. Um, so I've faded this down. Um, you can see it reflective. It is a very pale gray. I just didn't want it on, on stark white. Um, that does mean I'm gonna quickly get the hair dryer in a little bit. I've only got 45 minutes, I haven't tried today, so I've got a... Yeah, but I would, I mean, if you're doing a lot of painting, get a nice ceramic, mm. a, a ceramic palette with wells, because then you're mixing colours and all of that, but if it's just a quickie job... Yeah. Um, just a tile or a plate will will be perfect. To be quite honest, I I don't see the point in. I I I would avoid plastic. Plastic is good if you if you're mucking about, but it doesn't hold the paint together. I mean, you can see here it stays where I'm putting it. Right. So we'll do a few distant trees. What? Yeah. Okay. Really, what? Really running? Let me turn my lamp off because you're not going to see where I'm sticking it. So a straight line and a bit of a wiggle. Straight line. Oh, basically today it's going to be full of straight lines and wiggles. But hopefully you'll go, wow. Oh, thank you for the stars. Oh, I know. I haven't got any birdsong on today either. I'll have to whistle. So, and the man with his guitar came down earlier today. He's normally about, uh, he just turned 11. Yeah, with the whole world in his hands. So I will just say, if I do have any customers, I will have to go down and serve. Obviously, I'm the only person on a Saturday. I'm the Saturday boy. Um, I, I, can't, I can't force Jackie to work Saturdays as well. She does work a lot. Guys came in brown, um, oh, blame. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did and it look like me? The guy said, Who wears brown overalls? <laughs> well, nobody wears me? Brown, Barry does. <laughs> I do. I do indeed. So, why do wiggles at the bottom? So, I'm doing a bit of a strip. And I'm varying the height. You see, what you'll think you'll do is you think you're varying the height, and then when you look, you're not. And then all your trees will be the same shape, the same size, the same wiggle. So change your wiggle, everybody. I find randomness, it's not human to be random. It's the same as, I can't remember the name of the thing, where you look at objects and you find a human thing so it looked like a pair of eyes or like, like in wood grain or um, a few things. Yes, yes. Because there's anthropomorphism where you turn animals into yeah. humans, but there's, there's another a... one where you see human qualities in objects. And and that's what we... Our brain is trained for that, to recognise patterns and shapes and all of that kind of thing. But actually, when you're painting, you don't, you don't want that. So I want trees close together. I want trees on the tilt, on the wonk. Yeah. And eventually they just go into a rhythm, don't they? They do. Pull random, yeah. And then they eventually get into a rhythm. They so do indeed. It's the same with everything. Hello, hey, probably watching downstairs. You got a cuppa. I did see you on the camera, but then you disappeared, so I thought you might watch. So I've just wetted my bottom uh, a little bit more. Wow, 72 of you. My word. So what I've done is I've still had the bit of the grey on my brush and I've just brought it down. I will probably use the hairdryer more this morning just for speed if I can unhook it. 
I'll move my table forward and my hooks underneath something. Never mind. It doesn't matter if I get cauliflowers either. Um, oh, last week's class is already on our free learning zone on our website as well. Um, the, a snowy cottage, yeah. It's it's very simple in terms of colour and everything, so I think it's it's well worth it. Morning, Kathy. Morning, Marie. Oh, look at you all. Barry's dabblers. That's what we ought to call you. Oh, dear. You know no, I know what I'm like. I know. <laughs> right. So, I've just slightly darkened the tree colour, which is just Payne's grey. And then I'm not going to worry if I overlap because we want it to look like a very big forest. And I'm deliberately changing the angle of my tree so you can see it's just a line and a wiggle oh that's a bit of a blob more than a wiggle I should be using a small brush but I'm not so there we go but even if you use the same color I, I said before with watercolors if you imagine them like quality street wrappers they're transparent layers. Um, so, I don't know, who, what, what's the one that people don't like? The toffee penny. I can't eat one with my fillings anymore. Nobody eats the toffee penny. Oh, the toffee, toffee sticks, like yeah. Them. Yeah, they're harder to chew. If you've got fillings or false teeth, you can't eat them. Um, so if you think of the toffee penny wrapper, it's yellow, isn't it? If you then put two or three toffee penny layer wrappers together, it will make a deeper colour yellow. And if you put a hundred together, you'd have a very deep yellow. Um, so if you think of watercolour paint like that, one layer of watercolour is one layer of toffee toffee penny um, wrapper. And uh, do you know, I think I'll have it in... Oh, toffee's your favourite. Oh, look at you, all your toffee penny fans. I will. Maybe we should get together. We need to invite you all round. You see, I love the creams, an orange cream or a strawberry cream. Coffee cream. Yeah. Oh, the 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 noisette triangle. Yes, that's nice. Or a caramel keg. Yeah, and the, and the little round one. I don't know what it is. What with the hazelnut in? No, no. It's, it's sort of flat round with an orangey colour. Oh, orange crunch. Yeah, orange crunch. That's, that's new. That is the orange crunch. I am not sponsored by Quality Street. <laughs> However, Quality Street, if you're listening and you'd like, <laughs> I'd be happy. I'm happy to mention it a few more times. You've said it uh, Patricia, I've got a very sweet tooth, unfortunately. Um, it is a curse. I don't mind the fudge. Again, sweet, isn't it? So I'm, I'm leaving a few gaps because then I'm, when we put other trees in, I can fill it up a little. Um, so I need to miss this bottom as well. My dad used to have that bluebird coffee. You have crack with the coffee. Oh, yeah, my mother, Walker's non-such. Mm. I, I, I used to have that. Sheila Sweets down the road sells it. Um, but since I've been grinding my teeth more in my sleep, I I really am frightened that I'll pull something out. Something out, exactly. It's just not worth it, is it? But it's so nice. And I cannot just let it dissolve in my mouth. Mm. I've got to chew. I've got to chew. Oh, Kathy's dying for one now. <laughs> da Dan says um, Dan says he doesn't have a specific quality street favourite. Just give him the tin. <laughs> the tin and a nose bag and you're fine. So I'm just wiping off my brush. What's nice about Payne's Grey, you may or may not know this, it's made, the way they make Payne's Grey is from black, Mars black and ultramarine. So some Payne's Greys are very blue okay. and other Payne's Greys are very grey. It just depends how much blue and how much black. Now I have to say the Winter and Newton professional watercolour that's a lot more money, Payne's Grey is very blue, almost like indigo the Cotman, also by Winsor and Newton uh, Payne's Grey is much more um, general 
I'm just going to blast this. I'm going to be blasting a lot because it's 20 past 11 already. There is blue tip. Yeah, it's, it, it granulates a little and I do love granulation with watercolour. Yeah, that's very blue. That's very grey. Beautiful. Oh, sales of Quality Street going to go up this afternoon when you when I finish the demo. Oh, he's gonna go out and buy some. I bet they'll still be on offer after Christmas. <laughs> or you'll have to start getting a Quality Street Easter egg. Do they do that? Valentine's Day. Or Valentine's yeah. Day. Yes. So I'll go a little bit darker. So my trees are gradually getting a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. A little bit bigger. Oh, let me stick this one here now. A little bit darker this time. So can you see how I'm just using watercolours in the way watercolours work? They're transparent and they're light. And look how soft that colour is now. A, it's drying lighter. I'm being a bit more careful about my wiggles. This, this will probably be a good thing to start with, isn't it, again? To get back into, to get back into painting, yeah. And, you know, it would make really nice greeting cards because you could do little versions of this. Um, and I think that that would be really nice, yeah. So it is a good one because it's almost monochromatic, yeah. and it's to get you back into and the practicing, swing. Yeah, practicing doing that light to dark. And Let's have a bit of a lean. Oh, that's a big one. As uh, Sir Bob of Ross would say, <laughs> "This is your bravery test," and we'll give him a little friend. So with fir trees, it does. Do, I'm making it up. But if you were following a specific... Oh, thank you for the stars. Oh, look at you lot. Bless you. Thank you. That'll keep me in beans. On toast. Um, you know, you get a different tree by how you wiggle. Because some fir trees go up. Some go down. Some have got more gaps. So it's worth having a bit of a, a look-see at um, trees. So here's his little friend. Where the squirrels come and play. Oh, I shouldn't talk about squirrels in front of me brush. No, It'll be sad. So we'll miss the base of this again. Um, and we'll just keep going through. But it is amazing, isn't it, how we've already got such a lot of depth mm. without doing much at all, which I think is a really nice way of working. Mm. See, that one's a little bit softer. And because it's watercolour, we know that we can wetten the bottom um, <laughs> I told my care and my, do, my new diet ha it asks for eggs for breakfast she said coats or scrambled I said Cadbury's cream please Cadbury's cream eggs <laughs> are just the best mm. and they're scream eggs at Halloween are nice yes. but they're green Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, catch it. It will be on, it will stay on our video section here. And then if I can download it before I finish work today, if, if I'm inundated with customers, I'm, I'm wishful there. Um, I will probably struggle, but I will put it on our free learning zone on our website as well, because we, you know, we, while we use Facebook, we are aware that the world doesn't revolve around Facebook and other people aren't on it. No. Well, my world does, sadly, um, but uh, it's because it's the way it is, isn't it? Mm. Just the way it is. I don't know what that would be nice for. It would be like in the background for like it's an invitation so to a Christmas party. Oh, yeah, Christmas. yeah. Something like that. See, I got married in December, so we oh. could have, my wife and I, we could, well, not now, yeah, when I got a married. Poster for a, a Wonderland thing or yeah, like it would because it is a bit snowy, but we are going to put some greens on, aren't we? So uh, not sprouts. Um, put put the that. greens on. <laughs> Hanging off the tree. Do you know my sister has this thing because I love sprouts. Every Christmas I get sprout related gifts. Oh, okay. So I've got sprout drinking glasses, and I've got a sprout Christmas card, and sprout. I've got a pair of sprout sprout socks. Yes, I've got some of those as well. Molly, Molly bought those because I thought they were lovely. So yeah, we've got sprout baubles on our Christmas tree. Right, so I'm wetting this again. <laughs> so you can see I'm having to scrub a little bit because it has dried because I've been talking and that's that's what it's about, isn't it? 
That's a bit soggy, that one. So I'm I'm brag I'm dragging I'm bragging I'm not I'm dragging it down way lower than where my next layer is going to be because what I don't want is to have a stripe of line. Oh, okay. yeah. So just bring it down, just dilute it. I mean, if you've got a nice amount of time and you're not trying to do it in 45 minutes with only 15 minutes left, um, you could take your time. Um, you can see I've got a bit of a cauliflower there, but. What is great about this, the mist might create a cauliflower or you can cover it up with your next layer of trees. Um, you don't have to... Sprouting socks, I know. Let's just um, give this a blast. Oh, I forgot to have some tea. I'm on lemon and nettle this morning. Very hipster. I'll have a rider next. I'll only come and do these demos if there's a box yeah. of cream eggs. Yeah, and then, and then a nettle Yeah, do you know <laughs> when I was in um, when I was in the education system, um, there was a Christmas um, production, and um, uh, not Christmas, a, sum a summer production, and um, I it was a musical version of Robin Hood, and I played the Sheriff of Nottingham, and. Uh, as a, as a thank you, they got me a big box of cream eggs. Ooh. It didn't last more than two nights. Right, so I've got cauliflower there. Well, they just pop in. Yeah, why not? <laughs> right, I think I'm going to have to nip downstairs. I have. I didn't put a sign up to say what I was doing this morning. All right, let me just do this bit and then I'll quickly run down. So I do apologise. But as I say, we are a working shop, so it's sort of um, one of those things. Oh, I think, I think Kathy's sorting it out. Yeah, they do. They all, but they leave each other little notes. To say if they finish in, in record time. But you can see the layers. It's just lovely, isn't it? See you later, Elizabeth. Lemon and nettle, I know. I, I do like lemon and nettle. It's, um, I do like nettle, actually. I grow nettles to, to then dry in the oven to make my own tea from. This isn't your own brew, though, is it? Is no, it? this isn't. This is, this is Neil's yard. Very fancy. Very fancy. My neighbour's a Neil's yard consultant, so, um... Oh. I get invites. Right, so let me just blend my bottom in a little bit more. So this gap, it could just be ground. But can you see why it's important to, to leave the gaps and everything? Um, but I am getting cauliflowers. Oh, I've got people in the shop as well now. It's funny, isn't it? Because I can go hours without getting anybody in. And then the time I'm up here. I'm never happy though, am I? I'm only if I haven't got any customers. And I'm only when I have got customers. What am I like? Right, let me, I'm going to get cauliflowers galore in a minute. Nice though, isn't it? How effective is that? Just, yeah. And it's something you can do when you don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm going to 
go one more layer of Payne's Grey and then I'll do a bit of green which will help bring it forward so I'm being a little bit more careful about the shape of my tree a little bit I'm trying to think but obviously there's no snow on this but you could use gouache or something afterwards or a white acrylic to make it snow and it's quite nice doing it like this because the paint runs out a little bit more towards the bottom as you do each tree mm -hmm. so you get that hint of mist anyway And I'm trying not to, for each tree to look like the previous tree, you know. I think that's the important thing here. I shouldn't have relined that. I've not gone quite the same. Da -da -da -da. I'm trying not to put anything smack bang in the middle either. Um, because that will become a focal point that you may not really want so leave the gap and, and obviously by dragging the previous color down you've got natural gaps that you can leave exactly you want it you don't want it just totally blocked you want to feel there's some movement so i'm deliberately changing the angles of the trees and the, and the shapes a bit more water soften that so a decent paper works quite well because obviously you'll end up with really strong stripes if if you're not careful um, i think paper is the most important thing with watercolors more than anything else Oh, don't worry, Joan. Thank you, Pat. Oh, Kathy, don't worry. Um, your trees look more like telegraph poles. Um, it is more. You need to wiggle more. You need more wiggling. Um, hello, Carrie. Um, the thing is, if you imagine you're having a shiver, you know when you shiver and you go, ooh. If you do that when you do a tree, ooh, then you're all right. Let me just blast this. Oh, there's 79 of you. This is impressive. Thank you so much for joining me. I do love having your company. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. It's a bit soggy down there. Keep my finger. Right, let's go with now this is why the lemon is here because i said that Payne's gray is um it's got blue in it mm -hmm. when you mix yellow you get a lovely olive green it's almost like i know what i'm talking about but i don't want it a bright green we want it fairly muted still now where you'll find possible problems is now if your paint is too fluid it will be transparent oh, okay. so you want enough moisture so it works but enough pigment so it's dark right I'm gonna have to go down we're back in a sec well, I've got a little sign somewhere oh, where have I put that there. Oh no, Kathy's down. Oh bless her. Oh, she want me to pay her rent or something. 
she is normally we close the gate you see um, when I'm doing stuff like this but I'd forgotten this morning um, not to discourage people but it just stops people from spending hours just making it look like I've got a customer <laughs> so I'm not worrying too much if they've got no intention of buying so the gate makes it yeah, makes them know their intention yeah, you've got to have that commitment, you, to go yeah. The gate. or do you know I'll just give her this painting as a thanks she won't like it but I don't care <laughs> she'll never offer again <laughs> no that's not a good idea is it but can you see how it just changes and we're only using the two colours It's a very natural green, and it's because of the black. I mean, lemon yellow and ultramarine give a nice green anyway, but the black really tones it down a little. So yeah, if you if you've got not a lot of foliage on, leave leave parts of the the trunk show through, but. You know, you want to make it wider at the bottom. And the aim is to try and not see the original line. Well, let's have a little thin one there. It's not. I was going to say thank you, but it's not her, so I can't. Right, I'm nearly done actually. You've still got five minutes. I know, I'll do another bottom. Mm. Oh, good, Cathy. Well, I like to teach you something new. That's what it's all. Oh, I haven't, I haven't misted my bottom. <gasps> How can I not miss my bottom? I mean, you could add cauliflowers on purpose at this point, and it won't it won't hurt because you can see them forming here, can't you? And I'll just do a few big ones, and then we're done. But how how simple is it? Well, I know I'll say how simple is it. And I know some of you were saying it's not simple. Where's Mr. Tumnus? I'm here. I get called Mr. Tumnus a lot. I actually dressed up as him for a, a, a street party in the town once. I wasn't topless, so. A lamppost in it, yeah. Um, Elizabeth, is it you? Yes. Um... What are cauliflowers? That is a cauliflower. So what happens is, it's called a cauliflower because it looks like the top of a cauliflower. Um, when you've got watercolour that is nearly dry and you slosh in wet watercolour, the wet watercolour can't blend everywhere. So it tries to find the wet bits of paint and it, it, it creeps in. And you get a dark top, so it looks... I, I like cauliflowers, and they're really difficult to make when you don't want them. <laughs> uh, when, when you want them, no chance. When you don't want them, they're everywhere. That's life, isn't it? It is. <laughs> right, so... Let's go with a bit more black, actually. So you've got to not be scared to actually go over other other trees that you've done. Because that's what makes it have depth, you know? Yeah, but you start to worry you're going to spoil it, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Well, interestingly, on Thursday afternoon, we did um, a watercolour class where we were doing... 
uh, an evening field with hay bales and the foreground was so blank at the bottom that I just shoved another hay bale in and you know I did say to the students don't do it yet wait until you see what I've done and then you can decide whether it's something that you want to do so I've got quite a lot of paint even though my brush is wet and that helps keep the strength of colour. So this is still a bit green, but it's not as green uh, because we need it stronger. Stronger than yesterday. But I am going to fill this right the way down to the bottom, you see. I'm going to check my phone in case. Um, oh, and the, um, the f it's just Payne's Grey, Payne's Grey and Lemon Yellow, that's all it is. Um, all of those layers are Payne's Grey, just with um, m less water, more paint as we get further down. And the um, then I started mixing Lemon Yellow here. But it, it just is so nice. Oh, somebody was asking about my squirrel, hang on. can't see a thing about my um I do need to have a misty bottom. So if you haven't got a squirrel, what would you use instead? Um any wash brush. Any any big brush will work. But I, I'd have you might need two brushes if you haven't got a squirrel. You need one to wet mm -hmm. and then just any like a number four round or something that will give you a good point. A pointed round brush would help. Because this is a pointed squirrel moth. Mop, mop, mop. I think I'm going to call it a day in a sec. Down here like that. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to stick one here. So next month the demo is boxing hairs in gouache. Yeah, I got confused. I thought that was yeah, because I did it early. I was trying to uh, gain anticipation <laughs> and excitement. Right, let me just get a damp, just, just a damp squirrel. So yeah, I'm using a squirrel mop brush. and it's damp so I can roll it around the base here so it will give it that mossy effect so I'm lifting out the colour I don't know actually early early Feb isn't it um, early March is it 3rd of March 5th of March 5th of March is the next one and it's a free demonstration again like this 11 o'clock and it's boxing hairs in gouache I'll be talking all about gouache for that as well. Well. but we are low in stock at the moment on squirrels so if you if you want to order some uh, from us um, you can but we may not be able to send it out for another couple of days because as I say we had an, an issue with the delivery so there we go that is our layers of misty trees in watercolors just using two colors and one brush um, it's really effective isn't it mm -hmm. really effective so I look forward um, Thank you, Sheena. Thank you, Jill. Um, thank you, Patricia. Um, I will tell you, Wendy, on the demo day, what the difference between watercolour and gouache is. Gouache is more opaque, um, but I'll tell you more about it then. So you'll have to tune in on that date as well. I will take a photograph of this when it's dry and post it underneath, um, within the body of this demo, but I'll also post it elsewhere and maybe on my own art page as well. So I hope you found it really interesting. Um, a, it's really good tree practice. It's just a really lovely light. I mean, look how soft that is now. We've got all of these darks in. Um, if you find that it's too strong, you can use a bit of white chalk on your finger and just soften it some more. But I think it works really, really nicely. It's a nice experiment. Thank you, everyone. Oh, that's lovely. You all say the nice thing. It's been lovely to share my Saturday morning with you all. Um, 
uh, we've got lots of classes coming up during the week as well and don't forget on our artstreamclub.com uh, we've got all of our recording lessons that you recording of classes that you can buy for six pounds and it's downloaded straight away and you can watch it uh, but do have a play with this and i look forward to seeing what you come up with in your variations but it's the height small soft dark that's the thing to remember but get those wiggles on a way to warm up on a saturday morning isn't it thanks everybody take care stay safe and i'll see you all soon bye bye everyone